a bodybuilder possessing a superior back to both Ronnie Coleman and Dorian Yates? Superset Man either this claim is intended as clickbait or you're just a Phil Heath fanboy. Guys, I'm not referring to Phil Heath, Lee Haney, Samir Banu, none of these uh, more known bodybuilders with great back developments, no. You may not be familiar with this individual, but take a moment to admire his exceptional back development, the muscle insertions, the muscle bellies, and the intricate details are simply stunning. When compared to Ronnie Corman and Dorian Yates, this bodybuilder exhibits greater symmetry than Ronnie and a higher level of muscular fullness than Dorian in my opinion. Take a look at that Christmas tree as well, that really looks like a Christmas tree you know. And also the wings, doesn't he look like a wider version of Phil Heath? Who is this guy? Well, some of you bodybuilding diehard fans might have recognized him already. Yes, this is Supermass Marco Savalainen. You guys might also know him as the guy who had the best biceps development in the history of competitive bodybuilding. So we're talking about a guy who had the best guns and one of the best backs too. What's his story? Before we get into that, make sure you like this video if you want to see more such videos on this channel. Marco is a Finnish bodybuilder who competed in the 1990s and early 2000s. He did not participate in any major bodybuilding competitions such as the Arnold Classic or the Olympia. Throughout most of his career, he primarily competed in Finland, his home country, with only a few exceptions when he participated in competitions in the United States, such as the Ironman Pro in 2001. Marco did not achieve high placements in his competitive career in part due to his inconsistency with uh, conditioning. This was one of the reasons for his low rankings, despite having impressive muscular development. Another factor that may have contributed to Marco's low rankings in competitions was the potential bias towards bodybuilders outside of the United States by judges during that era. However, I won't go into much details about that. Marco's most notable appearance was likely at the 1997 Finnish Grand Prix from which this footage was taken. Despite placing only 7th, he appeared to be the most impressive athlete at that show according to many observers. This show was won by Kevin Levroni and this is notoriously known as being Kevin's best physique ever. This was also the last time Kevin Levroni would outplace Ronnie Coleman in a competition as the very next competition that happened in the same period was the notorious Russian Grand Prix where Ronnie Coleman would defeat Kevin Levroni for the title after drinking vodka with him the night prior. So he drank it? You know. Man, this stuff don't taste right, man. I, I ain't used to this in my body. But if you say do it, I'm gonna do it. So this was really one of the best versions of Ronnie prior to winning the Olympia. Marco is doing more than well against this version of Ronnie in the back poses. In my opinion, the back double biceps definitely goes to Marco here. Also, what a Christmas tree display from Marco Savlainen here. Outstanding genetics. Let's check out the back lat spread too. This one is a bit closer, but I would still give it to Marco. Also, if you were not convinced this guy had the best guns ever, check him out destroying both Ronnie Coleman and Paul Dillette in the front double biceps. No more words needed. With these genetics, he could have had a stellar career in bodybuilding if only he was more consistent and didn't have some health issues that forced him to retire. I believe some kidney issues that eventually led to a complete kidney transplant in the late 2000s put an end to his competitive career. So there you have it, Marco Savalainen is the guy that I believe, at least from a generics point of view, might have had the best bag development in this sports history. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below, also make sure you like the video and subscribe so you won't miss any of my future videos. See you next time.